Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called All Right by Pilot Speed. And it's basically this one cool progression through the song where we start on an F major chord. We'll talk about some easy ways to play this. But normally you do this as a first fret bar, second finger on the G, second fret, third finger on the A, third fret, and the pinky on the D, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major bar chord. It sounds really, really happy. And I could substitute, if you're just starting out, there would be an F major 7. We could do the first finger on the B, first fret, second finger on the G, second fret, and third finger on the D string, third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7 chord. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the F, we go to a D minor chord. And we're going to do this first finger on the high E, first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the B string, third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. Around D minors in general, though, it can be cool to lift the first finger and add a D sus 2. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord and kind of say some stuff around the D minor. And then from the D minor, we go into an A minor chord. And normally do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, third finger on the G string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really sad. And you may also dig on lifting off the first finger, making that an A sus 2. Or adding in the pinky on the B string third for an A suspended chord and kind of saying some stuff around the A minor chord. Or you may dig on lifting off the third finger, making that an A minor seven. Or adding in the pinky on the high E third for an A minor seven. And then from the A minor, we go to a C major chord. And we'll only do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second, third finger on the A string third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, ah, uh, the beautiful sounds of C major. Now around C's in general, though, you may want to think about lifting off the first finger, and making that a C major seven. Or you could add in the pinky on the B string third for C major nine. through the song actually that's our main progression actually it's kind of like F, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, A minor A minor C so I'm just doing kind of an eight down count kind of adding a little bit of beauty with the right hand just to make that a little sneaky D minor strum patterns. One of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the F major 7 and just tried that a lot. You have it. F, down, up, up, down, 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 up, Times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw in a bass for the chord. So on the F bar, you'd have low E for kind of the bass. Down, up, up, down. On the F major, so you have the D for the bass. On the D minor, you'd have the D for the bass. On the D minor, you'd have the A string for the bass. And on the C, you'd have the A for the bass. tune is something called the 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the B, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts so that are down, down, up, up, down, up. And one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the F major 7 to do it down for four, kind of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. Then on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up,
through our progression. Three on the D, and then open G, second on the G, first fret on the B, back on the second on the G, and then open G, and then second on the G with a bend. So kind of play the note, pull it down to kind of bend, bend the note, and back to open G. So we kind of dig on that lead, lead lick, kind of playing around with those notes. Three, oh, two, one. lead lick like right at the end you'll kind of hear where you could go fifth on the G string and then seven on the G and then D string on the seven so, five five seven seven the G string and slide it to ninth fret. actually use a D minor pentatonic scale to kind of play a lot of cool licks over it and if you set up that scale with what I call pattern number one actually I was just shooting some stuff for months and jam tracks uh, last week doing pentatonic scale moving them around for keys so you'd have 10 on the low E to 13 on the low E then 10 12 on the A 10 12 on the A 10 12 on the G and then 12 or 10 13 on the B and then 10 13 on the high E it would be a D minor or an F major pentatonic scale you're playing D's and F's, and G's and A's, and C's and B's, and F's and G's, and A's and C's, and B's and F's. <laughs> so you can work hammer on licks through that scale, or pull off licks through that scale, or slide licks could be cool, or bends could be cool. And one, this is an open-ended idea, one way to kind of work that, actually it's very Hendrix, is you can play the chord, pick up a lick, Next chord, lick. Next chord, play a lick. Next chord, play a lick. Lick. Yeah, so you can kind of open ended, but but actually. But that's the basics of how you get strummed through all right by pilot speed, so good luck. <laughs>